Today we're going to talk about the HV10097 study, or otherwise known as the immune correlates of the TAR RB144 HIV vaccine regimen in South Africa. The TAR study, or RB144 study, was the first study that showed that a vaccine could have modest efficacy. So HV10097 was a very important study. It was a phase 1-2 study looking at the safety and immunogenicity of the TAR study in South Africa. So we were very intrigued after this TAR study showed effect what it would look like in, an, in a South African environment. And so we decided to replicate the study in South African volunteers. And so what we did was we um, did the exact same regimen and then we compared the immunogenicity to the immunogenicity seen in the TAR study. So it's very important to understand that in South Africa we have a clade C epidemic and in Thailand um, we have a, a BE epidemic. And so the, the Thai study was, um, the Thai regimen was uh, designed to be effective against um, the, the circulating clade uh, BE. And we wanted to compare how this um, vaccine regimen would hold up in a clade C epidemic. And so when we looked at the envelope uh, specific CD4 T cell responses, and we compared what we saw in HV10097 as compared to RB144, you can see that um, in, in the South African participants, uh, we had very good response and the magnitude of response was, was very good. So this is HV10097 and RB144, so better responses and better magnitudes, magnitude of responses in the South Africans. This graph looks at um, the functionality score of the CD4 T cell responses. And you can see that um, the HV10097 had a better functionality score as compared to RB144 and very similar polyfunctional scores. We also know that in some, some studies, in some vaccines, um, women respond better than men. And so we wanted to compare um, women in Thailand um, and men in Thailand to the South African men and women. And yeah, you can see that in, um, when you compare female and male and HV10097 and RB144, um, both in, in, in both sexes, you can see that um, the immune responses were as good as, as seen in the Thai studies in both, in both sexes. And yeah, you can see that we had excellent um, uh, responses and particularly in the ages of 21 to 25, uh, we had um, very good immune responses in, um, in South Africa. And this slide shows the IgG binding antibody responses to the vaccine insert antigens. And yeah, you see HV10097 and RB144, um, and we look at the different um, inserts, GP120, GP140, V1, V2, 1086, and CON-S. And yeah, you can see that in the HV10097 is in green, and the RB144 is in purple, that um, we had magnificent responses and magnificent magnitudes of responses. And in this study, um, we looked at the ADCC responses and we compared the HV10097 to the RB144 study. And here again, you can see that in terms of ADC, ADCC responses, the HV10097, 72.6% of participants responded had ADCC responses as compared to 58.5% in Thai study, showing um, very good um, response rate uh, for ADCC in South Africa.